Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon yeah, Purple Plays Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. I am getting ahead of myself. In the last episode, we went through the what was it frigid forest or whatever. It was the cold forest, and we found and defeated Articuno. Met a new party member in the form of Absol, who is now our beloved Galesby, and we started on Mount Freeze only to reach the halfway point. And in this episode, we are going to continue on. Mount Freeze Peak. Almost sounds like Freezy Peak. Oh, sweet. Uh, Reviver Seed. Um, uh, let's get rid of the apple. Just gonna maximize my belly size. I'm kind of hoping I don't encounter more reviver seeds. Cause I'm probably gonna replace it with the. I don't want to replace it with my other apple, really. Oh, we have a Glalie here, and it's gone. Oh, well, thanks to Heatnix. This time you pulled your weight around. I mean. Galesby's been outshining you lately. All in the span of one dungeon. I blame Quick Attack, but whatever. We don't have much to do in this area because usually these parts aren't all that uh, long. Oh, hello. I'll bite you again. Okay, so you're doing some some more damage there. Not enough, though. Ugh. Let's see. I'm on. Kinda went in a circle there. Aw, oh, are you kidding me? Just go down already. No, don't cringe! Cringe is basically the equivalent of flinching in this game. Although I think you can cringe for up to two turns, I think. I could be mistaken. It's annoying regardless. It prevents you from attacking. You can move, but you can't attack until you're no longer cringing. Oh well, either way. Just got through those floors. <sighs> Come on. Come on, Galesby. Oh, Heatnix went up another level. Okay, I'm down with that. Don't wake up that other one. Or let's wake it up, I don't really care. Come on, guys. It's right over here. Is this the last one, or is there like one extra? Nope, that's it. We finally arrived. This is the summit, isn't it? I wonder where Ninetales is. There they are. I spotted Gideon. Alright, I see them. Oh, great. Alakazam! It's about time we finally caught up to you. Your fugitive act dragged us all the way out here. Pipe down, Tarantar. We can finally settle things here. I can barely contain myself. I'm itching for a fight. Heatnix, don't think badly of me. I don't know how to show mercy. Gideon. I didn't wish for this conclusion, but this, too, is fate. The role of a rescue team is to help bring peace. We will crush you with every shred of our power. Get them! Oh, it's on! I'ma beat the crap out of you. I don't care if you're in gold rank or not. Cease this at once! Oh. What? Ninetales. What? Ninetales? That's Ninetales? Oh, what, you can't see the many tails? Legend. 
It was real. Cease fighting at once, Alakazam. They are my guests. Tell us, Ninetales. Who was the human that appeared in your legend? No, even before that. Was the legend itself a true event? Depending on your reply, I may have no choice but to eliminate them. Whether they considered my curse to be a legend or not, I care not. However, it did happen. Many years ago, I tried to lay a curse on a human. It was then, however, that Gardevoir, the human's partner, dashed in. It selflessly bore the full brunt of the curse meant for the human. Then the human did a selfish and cowardly thing. They abandoned Gardevoir and fled. The human eventually became a Pokemon. Transformed into a Pokemon, the human... The human lives on. And that human would be... Who is the human that you speak of? Gideon. You may relax. It is not you. Just now... What did you just say? Gideon is not the human that appears in the legend. That is what I said. What? Oh, There's something wrong. Too tensed up to move. Deep breaths. In, out. Oof. Oh wow, fantastic. Okay, you gotta like calm down there, Phoenix. That's great. I knew Gideon couldn't be the one. I knew it. Gideon couldn't possibly be anyone that terrible. So you always doubted me. Good to know. I have another thing to say. It is true that I foretold of the world's balance becoming unstable. However, that human becoming a Pokemon and the world's balance are not linked in any way. The cause of the natural calamities, it exists elsewhere. Hey, you! You were wrong! You were wrong to hound and harass Gideon. Uh, uh, we, uh, apologize. I'm sorry. You were dumped by that Gengar. No, I suspected Gengar right from the start. Gideon just doesn't look like a treacherous type. <laughs> if only that were true. But I must say, you are to be commended for prevailing through this cruel journey and discovering the truth. Impressive, Gideon. <laughs> this is fantastic. I knew I wasn't wrong. Huh? Oh, but wait. Then why did Gideon turn into a Pokemon? I understand that Gideon isn't the human from that legend. Then how do you explain Gideon becoming a Pokemon? Gideon, who are you? What? The ground's heavy. Or heaving. Damn it. Quake! The world's crust is shifting. The natural calamities are worsening. And the shifting of the ground? It will awaken the beast that embodies the ground. The beast that slept deep underground. Groudon will be awakened. What? Groudon is rising? Groudon? What is that? What's a Groudon? A legendary Pokemon that has been spoken of only in myths. It is the Pokemon that raised the land masses and created continents. It is said to have taken to sleep after catastrophic battles with its arch enemy Kyogre. If Groudon were to get loose, there would be chaos. It must be stopped. We will go. We'll go too. No, you must remain behind. Bullshit! I just fought all three legendary birds and was about to kick your ass. Groudon is far more powerful than any Pokemon you have faced. Articuno could probably take it on. I mean, not in today's age of Pokemon, but it could have back then, maybe. Leave it to us. That's how it goes. You go back to your rescue team base for a well-earned rest. Do not worry about us. We didn't get our gold ring the easy way. I forgot to do Charizard's deep in voice, but... You know, it's like, fucking these voices don't really seem too different anyways. We'll get the job done, and we'll be back before you know it. 
fine. We're off to Quell Groudon. Do you guys even know where to go? Ah, whatever. And thus, Alakazam's team made their way underground to quell the Waken Groudon. Meanwhile, cleared of all suspicion, Gideon's team put an end to their long and arduous journey and returned to their welcoming rescue team base. Hell yeah, I'd like to save. So that means that I get to go back home. Meanwhile, back in Pokemon Square... <laughs> you lot. Why aren't you out there hunting down Gideon's team? That's easy for you to say. It's too much for us. I say Gideon's team has gone way far out there. If we went, the best we could hope for is maybe the Lapis Cave. I joined the chase. But they fled into Mount Blaze. For the life of me, I can't go in there. And that's why I lost their trail. I'm a grass type, see? Fire doesn't agree with me at all. I don't know what became of Gideon's team after that. But those fugitives, to think they would risk Mount Blaze. They've grown up tough. I can't keep up. <laughs> what a spineless lot you are. You're so full of big talk. What about your team, Gengar? You just hang around in the square and don't do a thing. Walk the talk. You guys go. We're out of the picture. <laughs> Our role is to receive word about Gideon's demise. <laughs> just appoint yourself that? Oh my... Oh what? Medicham. What's the word? Gideon. Gideon's team. Or Gideon is... Oh, finally. We're finally rid of Gideon. Okay. No! It's the opposite. Gideon is back. Okay. What'd you say? Hey, over there. Gideon. We're back. Hi, everyone. We're back. Whew. We finally made it back. We've been gone for so long. Feels kind of nostalgic to be back in the square, Gideon. Hey, Heatnix. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Gengar. It's been a while. <laughs> it's that smug confidence. Maybe. Gengar! Everything you said was completely wrong. Gideon had nothing to do with it. Gideon was innocent. Hmm? What? Is that true? Yep. We met nine tails and asked. Gideon isn't the human from the legend. We're back because we discovered the truth. Okay. Wait a second. You can't be trusted yet. If you're going to make that claim, let's see some proof. Proof? That's right. Some hard evidence. <laughs> I see some proof. Come on, out with it. Proof. I don't have any proof. <laughs> it's too bad you don't have proof. You came back for us so we could get rid of you easier. How conveniently foolish. Now, fellow Pokemon, here's your chance to get rid of Gideon. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with everyone? Don't you want to get rid of Gideon? I... I always believed in Gideon. You don't fool me. Eh? I... I'm out. I was saved by Gideon's team before. I joined the chase with a heavy heart because of your energy. But I simply can't think of Gideon being bad in any way. Eh? I've heard enough too, I believe Gideon. Yeah, that's right. Who needs proof? Everyone. Extra, extra, read all about it. Gengar is a piece of shit. No, that's true, I actually love Gengar. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. What? What is this? It looks 
looks like a newspaper, doesn't he? Okay, I'll read it aloud. Let's see. Pokemon News Extra. Gideon Innocent. Gideon met with Ninetales under the watchful eye of Alkazam. And proved that it had nothing to do with the human of the legend. As a result, Gengar's claims were found to be malicious lies. And... Mm. You run. You run! Stop, you liar! You conned us! Alright. Welcome back. Yep, it's good to be back. We're back like we promised. I'm so glad. Gideon isn't suspected anymore. Yep, I'm glad too. We won't have to keep running the from everyone anymore. Gideon, we're both exhausted. I'm going to get some sleep. Our rescue team will get revived tomorrow. Let's try to do our best. Too bad Absol doesn't really have any lines afterwards, but at least they're a permanent member. The next morning... Yes, what about the next morning? Good morning, Gideon. Did you sleep well? Alright, we'll get right back into doing rescues. Well, there's Pelipper. Look, Pelipper is bringing us mail already. Let's try to do our best like we always did, Gideon. Alright, so what we got? New floor tiles. Makuhita Dojo. So, nothing really. Don't care about that. This is a uh, thing about the ultimate dungeon. If you've been doing uh, rescues, you'd probably get this sooner or later. You can pause and read that. This is the seven wonders of Pokemon. Like the mysterious feet of Diglett. What's inside a fortress's shell? The intelligence of Giraffric's tail. Arbok's variety of patterns. We await submissions from all readers. Yeah, these, well, with the exception of maybe the last one, those are some good questions. New floor tiles. There have been numerous reports of new floor tiles and other than wonder tiles believed to be made by the recent natural disasters. These floor tiles remain hidden until they are stepped on. They then trigger a variety of traps. Rescue teams are urged to use extreme caution. And extreme caution is needed indeed. But look look how much pokey I raised just from that one expedition. You really want to make sure you're at high level because if you die at any point, you're going to lose that Poké. I expected this. I thought there had been a had to be a mistake. I mean, look at you. You don't look like the sort who can be up to no good. I'll keep looking after your things, dears. You can always count on me. So pretty much if you talk to everybody, they'll pretty much be apologetic or, you know, just like say their regular thing, but um, they believe you and all that crap. So it's a nice touch, and it'll happen again later. So three reviver seeds. I do apologize. How could one run a bank without trusted clients? I promise to satisfy all your banking needs from now on. I hope you'll stay. So yeah, there's. Uh, I'll just take all my money out. <laughs> Cause you just lost a customer. I believed in you, Gideon, because you're my friend. Friend, oh yeah. uh, we're not friends. I'm so sorry. I was fully convinced of your guilt, Gideon. But I'm glad to hear you are free from that cloud of suspicion. I'll never give you my business. I'll never give you my business again. I hope you won't say that. Wait, what? Whatever. What do you got? Two Reviver Seeds, X-Ray Specs. Oh, X-Ray Specs. Hold on, that enables me to see location items and foes. This is actually a really good item. Um, but I 
I want these reviver seeds too. Ah, let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and buy these. Just ruin my chance of getting some x-ray specs. I should just save because I did. I am so sorry. I was going to a valuable customer such disdain suspicion. It isn't just you, my brother. I am guilty of the same thing. Brother. My brother. We both promise we will not repeat the same mistake. I will do my best to obtain even better technical machines and orbs. I hope you continue <clears throat> for your continued patronage. Okay, so... You have Roar. Oh, you have Ice Beam too, but I can't buy Ice Beam, you fucking asshole. Okay, so I sold uh, a band, three different TMs, and a gummy. So I can afford the x ray specs. Alright, now that that's all done, let's take on some jobs. Because that's all we can do, really. I mean, you could just go into other places, but, I mean, you know. Okay, so we got some D-ranked missions. We have some B-ranked missions. Info. I really want to meet Nidorino. This means everything to me. And it's a Nidorino. All right. Oh, only to floor five? I'll, shoot, I'll take it. And then this one is another one. In the Great Canyon. See, a centret wants to be wants to go see a beldum. Eh, I'll take it. I'm sad and lonely. <laughs> I got lost in this dungeon. My consciousness is slipping. Uh -huh. Since all these are in different areas, I'm just going to take on these two. And yeah. So I will see you guys first off in the forest area. The one that's short. Uh, Frosty Forest. Or, no, actually, I'm gonna show you this real quick, and then I'm gonna get to the to the destination floor. Your client, Nidorina, joined you for your rescue team. I don't think I've ever shown this off. Oh, wow. Oh, hell no. Uh, so these are client missions where you take a client with you If I did show this off, then I'm probably just gonna cut this out But um, if I haven't these are client missions as you can see I'm joined by a third Pokemon and They will escort They will be escorted throughout the uh, dungeon until you reach the Pokemon that they're trying to find All right. Uh, try not to let them fight at all, otherwise they're going to die. <laughs> oh, one thing I forgot to do real quick. There we go. Now I can see enemies and items. Too, I can't see where the. Uh... Ooh, a link box. Don't mind if I do. And a band, special band. Right. See, so yeah, I don't let them fight because they are pathetic. See, level one, Nidorina. But anyways, I'll see you guys on the next floors or the destination floor. All right, so we reached the destination floor, and thanks to these glasses, we can locate where the client is. I know I'm not heading toward the client, but there's all these items in here, and I want them. Oh, a pile of swine. Well, a pile of shit. Oh, and I screwed up. And that's why I have the- holy crap, Heatnix is frozen. Seriously? Quit missing. Fuck. How, how does a fire type get frozen? Is that even possible? I don't think it's even supposed to be possible. Ugh. But 
obviously. This is why you bring Reviver Seeds for these types of missions, because there's some Pokemon that like to have uh, full screen attacks. And as I showed, at least I think I showed, client Pokemon suck ass. Before I talk to you, let me go ahead and pick these up. I'm just gonna switch this with a plain seed because that's what got robbed from me. Thank you very much. One, two, three. Okay, so. You leave that alone. Alright, internet was successfully escorted. Also note that if you're too far away from your client and the Pokemon you're trying to save, uh, you will not be able to trigger the, um, this, the teleport. Damn it, I don't mean to hit the, uh, micro microphone like that. So, always make sure that the client is next to you when doing that. Thank you for escorting me to Knit Arena. Here's your reward, a gold gummy. Toolbox is full, and a Pekka Scarf. And 80 points. Congratulations! Potato skin went up from a bronze rank to a silver rank. Alright. I had a feeling I only had to do one more mission. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good morning, Gideon. Okay, so I don't think anything happens here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take on that other uh, dungeon, so. I'll see you guys over at the Great Canyon. I'm going to do my errand real quick. I must have hit the jackpot here. Hidden power, two useless TMs for me. But at least we finally made it to the destination floor. Okay, so. Sentry almost got himself killed because he started picking fights after <clears throat> we got separated because of a body of water. And there was no enemies at the time, but he got attacked right before uh, I made it to the stairs because of a randomly spawned Pokemon. Oh, another TM. Don't mind if I do. Frustration, I think, is even is even uh, worse. One more obstacle. And also, Sentry, I guess, has the uh, runaway ability where if it gets hurt too much, it's going to start running away because it started running on one of the floors without my knowledge and almost got into another fight. So, for certain escort Pokemon, keep that in mind. But with that all completed, <coughs> I can now rest easy. Um, also note that before going into another area, like if you go to one area and then you try and go after like the next one that's in a different area, like I'm going in terms of rescue missions, uh, make sure you double check the bulletin board the next day before going on to your next um, area to see if there's other missions for that same area. That way you're doing more jobs instead of uh, just going for one. Because I also took another job while off uh, screen. Oh, I got a Reviver Seed. And that's for Mount Freeze. So I'm probably going to do one more if I don't get a cutscene. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that. My current time, I'm actually going a little too ahead, but meh. 
I just want to show off a couple things, at the very least. Because it's probably going to be a while before um, we get to the next major area. So I'm checking mail. Pokemon News Extra 1. Gideon's Innocent. Okay. A letter from Pelipper. Yo, amigo! It's awesome you're back. I've, I'll be delivering mail to you again. I've been looking forward to this with my bill outstretched. Okay. I'll deliver tons of mail so you... Yeah. You do that. Okay, this is a thing about IQs. And I already read this. If you ever want to look at the Pokemon news that's stored, it'll be in here in the news list, so don't worry about missing out. So anyways, I'm going to do my errands and then I'll see you guys at Mount Freeze for the job I already took. Real quick, just wanted to show this off. Um, I'm going to be bringing uh, Galesby with me. But I wanted to give him this. But that's not the reason why I swapped over here. Okay, got PP pee -pee checker. Nice. Um, it's this friend area. I normally never got it, but this is actually Darkness Ridge. If you remember in an earlier part, I showed off um, where Gengar's friend area is, and it's this area, Darkness Ridge. So, <clears throat> some areas won't be unlocked by. Um, by the Wigglytuff Club, they'll just automatically be given. I believe this is mostly the case with... Well, actually, no, I don't know what it is. It's random, really. I, I don't know. I have to look it up again, but that's how you get Darkness Ridge. You just pretty much go through the story mode. Or the, the plot. That's all I'm trying to show off. Anyways, I'll see you guys in just a bit. Okay, finally reached the destination floor. I thought it was 15, but apparently not. Not that I'm complaining. Um, so I found quite a bit of stuff. If you notice, I combined Leer and Bite together because I found a link box on my travels. But I also found a certain TM, which is Ice Beam. And that is going to help me a hell of a lot in the long run. I am so happy I found Ice Beam. It was just sitting there. So, at least this is a place of interest. You can probably find it, but I think it's random regardless. Okay, as much as the stairs are tempting, I don't need them. Okay, we'll just let's go, guys. Oh, man, this took a while, but finally... Finally completed this rescue mission. Yes, I would love to leave. I mean, this may not be all that much for you guys that are watching, but... Oh, man, that's a big chunk to edit out. But it was all worth it. I got Dig. And... Oh, Brick Break! Whoa, okay. Okay. I don't know if I can learn that though, but that's a really good move too. I might give uh, Heatnix that one if it's possible. I don't think it is, but I'll think about it. Dig is whatever. But I got Ice Beam and that was one of my main goals. It'll definitely help me for uh, Endgame. Oh, it looks like we got a dream. Usually when you see your uh, character sleeping at night without it transitioning to the next morning, it's going to be a dream. This, that dream, again. It's been a while. 
You're Gardevoir. Yes. Gardevoir. There's so much I want to ask you. Why do you appear in my dreams? As an agent of spirits, I must watch over you. Because that is my role now. An agent of spirits? Yes. I fell under the curse of, an, of Nine Tails in the place of a trainer, and became a presence without a physical form like this. A trainer? You mean the human that was in the legend about Nine Tails? It's awful that your trainer would abandon you and run away. Yeah, my trainer was a terrible person, so why are you smiling? Mean and conniving, my trainer wasn't a nice person, truly. But. I don't hate my trainer. Well, you don't hate your trainer. Why not? Well, I wonder why myself. I don't quite understand. My trainer did some terrible things, but somehow I can't bring myself to feel hatred. My trainer had some quirks, but there were good qualities too. And when it happened, I was desperate. When it happened, you mean Nine Tails is cursed? Yes. I protected my trainer from Ninetales' curse with my entire being. If the trainer is facing danger, it is our duty to protect the trainer with our lives. We Gardevoir are that way. I kept my trainer safe. That alone was enough to make me happy. Protect the trainer even at the risk of your own life. It's amazing what Gardevoir did. Oh, I must mention, I don't mind the form I have taken. I live on this way with pride in the role I have been given. Role? Yes. All things have a role. They all serve a purpose. Just as, have, just as I have my own role to play, you too have a role to fill. You have come here to perform a certain role. And for that role, you became a Pokemon. What? What are you saying? Uh, an earthquake? No, wait! I need to know more! I do like that little attention to detail because Gardevoirs are very caring for their trainers as described in uh, different Pokedex entries. So the next morning... There was an earthquake. Wasn't there? I think I had that dream again. I think I spoke with Gardevoir. She said something important. That's it. She mentioned. I mean, she did say something. Quick, getting words mixed up. I mean, we just went over that. Gardevoir knows. She knows why I became a Pokemon. She also says something about a role. What does she mean by that? I don't know. And I'm not going to worry about it right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and save. Because that's going to be all for today anyways. Oh man, I have a big chunk to edit out. But it shouldn't be too difficult. Oh boy. I need some sleep. <laughs> But anyways, uh, next time on Purple Plays Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, we're most likely going to just keep going with some more uh, rescue missions until we reach our next event. Which shouldn't be long, maybe two or three more missions and then I'll be able to continue on with the plot. But I'm pretty sure next part will be plot. I'll see you guys next time.